Yo guys, it's Enzo HD here and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to import a background list render into Sony Vegas from Cinema 4D. Now you've probably seen it from, from Cinema 4D to, to After Effects but in this one I'm going to be showing you how to create a background list render without a background completely, a nice video, not just an image, onto Sony Vegas. Now let's start by obviously getting up Sony Vegas and we'll just create a small animation just for the purpose of this tutorial let's get our mo text let's call it Enzo HD let me just pick a font pick a random font mm. Okay. This this fun will do. Let's just increase the depth. Okay. And just for the purpose of this, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. So yeah, let's just animate this. So obviously, because this is a video, we're gonna make it animate and not just not just stay still, because that would be kind of pointless. So I'm starting keyframe. Let's just move this far back hit the keyframe button let's move this to 60 about two seconds move this back again just like that there so now we have a small two second animation of Enzo HD just moving from back to front just like that so here comes the key bit now when you go into your render settings obviously I have mine to the, the HD size but it's, the key thing is how you save it. What you want to do, the format as PNG. You're probably thinking, what? This is a video, not an image. But that's exactly what you're going to need. And the uh, alpha channel. Okay, just remember that. That's key. Alpha channel. I tend to forget this one. But uh, PNG and the uh, alpha channel. Now, name it whatever you like. Show to your whatever file, whatever. Uh, let's see. NT, whatever. Still image. Yes, a still image, not an animation. Keep it that. Go to best and leave it like that. Now let's just choose our areas manually from 0 to 60. It's like that. Now I'll just render your thing out. But one key thing is, is when your file save, just let's yeah, let's go to desktop. You gotta create a new folder for this because you're gonna get loads of images of the frames. And if you don't put it in a folder, trust me, it's just going to mess up your whole file or your whole folder where you put it. So let's just call this test. Yeah, let's put something in there. Um, should I call it? I'll call it Enzo. So like that. There we have it. And let's just render that. Should be pretty fast. Shouldn't take that long. And as you can see, I didn't put much on it. It's just a plain background. But you can put other stuff in it, a sky, a floor, whatever. And the alpha channel, you probably, with the floor, you probably want to disable that hitting th these red buttons here. So let's just do the while I render this quickly. So if I had a sky on mine, that would work with the render. But maybe a floor, if you colored it especially, you might want to just remove it like that. Before you render it and you'll still be able to see it. Depending on the animation you do. So yeah, I think that's done. Yeah, there we go, 60. Now let's go to the file test file now as you can see just you've got like a bazillion pictures but yeah I got 60 really and each one just showing how from the start to end it's just zooming in the actual animation Ugh, close and now we're gonna want to import it onto Sony Vegas now I already have Sony Vegas up you know what to do with that let's go into file new pick you all your settings mine's are the standard HD one hit OK Go on to import. You have to do it this way, by the way. You can't like drag and drop. If you know what I'm saying. Go to file, import, media. Go to desktop. Uh, where's the test? Now click on your first image. And once you do that, you're going to notice something that says open still image sequence. And you just tick that and you pick the frame amount. So the range 0 to 60. That's perfectly how many I have. And you hit open. 
And you can name it whatever you like. I'm gonna call it Enzo. No, the Enzo. It's like that. Hit OK or hit the Enter button. And there's your animation. Ta da! Let's just put that on to the timeline. And as you can see, there's your animation. From all those still images, it creates this effect. And here's an example. Let's just put something at the back. As you can see, if I straight away just put this on, this, um, what is it called? Color gradient. Put it straight away. Straight away, already background list. It's nice, crisp. Looks good. You don't need to chroma key it or anything. Remove the black background because it's already gone. It looks really nice. And yeah, that's it. That's how you import from uh, Cinema 4D to Sony Vegas with a background list animation yeah i think of the right and yeah thanks for watching see you guys <laughs>